a great experience to be down in the Palace, um, Buckingham Palace, and we actually played in the in the throne room, which was was quite something to see. Fantastic. And how did it feel for you getting that invite? Well, it was lovely to be invited by uh, Roddy McLeod, who's the director of the National Piping Centre, to go and represent them um, down at the Palace. Um, and it was yeah, it was great to play with a group of top top pipers. It must have been a very special occasion. And what was Prince Charles like? Did you get a chance to meet him? Yes, I had a chat with Prince Charles, and um, he's very keen on his piping, and uh, he knows a lot about the instrument and um, the sort of work that's involved to maintain it and things, so he had a good chat about that. And you, you mentioned some of the other pipers. I mean, it must have been a, a great occasion for all of them, but you were playing with the best of the best down there. Yes, yes, we were, and it's always a pleasure to play with such good, such good players. Um, including Roddy, you know, who's sort of one of the one of the top pipers in the world. Tell me a little bit about piping at Strathallan. How has it been over the last year? Uh, it's been another busy year at Strathallan, um, and I think the band has taken another step forward. Certainly, in the, in the numbers that are involved now, we've got we have a lot more um, pupils playing. We now have sixty on the on the piping timetable, which is a, a great thing for the school. And uh, individually, uh, the the pupils are all coming on. You know, leaps and bounds, it's been great. And what's been your highlight of the year? The highlight of this year? Possibly taking two bands out to compete at the Scottish Shields Championship, which was a first for the school. Um, so it was really nice to have our senior band and a development band uh, both competing in different grades and performing very well.